guys, Nate, Chiba here, Tony, we're back together and we're back at a wave game on a Friday evening. It's pretty interesting to have a game out here on a Friday night as uh, you have, uh, I believe, one of the players for San Diego Wave getting up a little gingerly after a tackle, everything's okay, five minutes into the game, but we have a starting lineup, Chiba. Yeah, we have Carly Telford on goal, no surprise there, uh, Sheridan is still in international duty with Canada, uh, and playing the championship game with the U.S. Yeah, so that's going to be an interesting uh, take because there is a couple of international players that are missing. We heard some of the fans and even some of the vendors like, hey, who's out exactly? And so we found so, out exactly who it is. On our back line, we have Abby Dalton and Kylie Real playing together at center back. And you're going to have Kristen Westfall and you're going to have Tegan McCready on the fullback position. Who that have been pretty much a solid lineup. Instead of uh, Abby Dalkamper is normally Naomi Girma, but now that once she comes back, they're going to be playing all together again. So, Tonya, Katie Johnson making her start after that great play that we showed uh, on this episode that, you know, say, well, cinco, and we had a great, great through yeah. ball. Uh, Mexican international, she is here, not with the selección. Obviously, por eso la selección no estaba cuando Katie Johnson no estaba. That's why, that's why the women's Mexican national team didn't make it to the World Cup. Katie make Johnson it. was not o there, guys. Otro fracaso mexicano. Uh, Van Eggman, Kelsey Turnbull, and Shimmer uh, round out this lineup for San Diego. It's, it's a solid lineup for what San Diego Wave has right now, despite four of their starters not being here. So far, it's been like a very open game, it seems, for San Diego Wave. They've been getting to the box you know, a couple times rather easily, so it seems like it's a matter of time at this point, but uh, we'll see it's still very early on here in this game, so let's see what happens. Alright guys, we're here at halftime at the San Diego Wave uh, game against Louisville. Not gonna cut to you guys, like not gonna sugarcoat it, this game has not been very fun to watch. Yeah, I mean it's been a game that's been very tight. In the beginning of the match, Wave seemed to have the upper hand, but seemingly didn't really result in much because still 0-0, they had a couple of chances in the beginning of the game, but the game pretty much died down after that. Louisville was able to come back and just uh, slow down the pace and San Diego Wave has been able to maintain herself. Telford has been the star of the match, the substitute goalkeeper for San Diego Wave. How's it going, man? Good to see you, man. Uh, she's been stepping it up for uh, Sheridan's absence, who is uh, one of the five players that is international duty. You have Morgan, you have Korniak, you have 
Um, you have Alex Morgan. Alex, I said Morgan. Oh, you did say Morgan. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that. Okay. But they are holding strong, so still 0-0, but anything can happen in the second half. There's still some game changers on the bench for Casey Stoney to see if she's gonna go ahead and resort to those. Yeah, you have Amira Lee coming, uh, coming as a game changer and has been in the last couple of games. You have Jordy Taylor on the bench now uh, to come in as a game changer, which was which is key. Just yeah. a couple of weeks ago, she was still in a walking boot. So yeah. uh, we'll see if she gets any minutes, in, if anything, and we'll see how Casey Stoney resolves this, because right now the game's not looking too pretty. Get in, get in. Carly Telford and Mackenzie Doniak. They're going to give their thoughts and statements on the match, and then we'll take questions from the audience and on Zoom. So, Carly, if you want to start with your statement. Uh, first time doing this, so how does it go? Just your thoughts on uh, the match. No, my thoughts on the match is that it was scrappy. We've had a couple of those games. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, when we went away to them, it was tough. It was all about first, second balls. We couldn't really get a hold of the game first half. Started the second half a little bit better, but again, turned into a kind of a long ball channel game, um, which again, we struggled to get to grips with, but you know what it is, sometimes you just got to grind it out. Every point's going to count at this part of the season and towards the end, so it was important that I kept a clean sheet um, and that we go into this break with some good momentum and that we can, yeah, keep on from here. Yeah, um, I go off that, everything she said. Some games are just a grind, um, and that was tonight, and you know, this point is going to matter down the line, so I think we just go into the break with this momentum and work for the next game. Questions from Chris, can you go ahead? Hey, uh, can you talk to us through, oh, through that penalty save? Obviously the high point of this match, the crowd got into it. Uh, what was going through your mind and how do you prepare for those personally during the trainings during the week? Well, it's funny, we've done a few uh, penalties yesterday because our regular penalty takes obviously away at the minute. So, uh, in Alex, so we practiced in training, um, which is good for the girls, so it's good practice for me. But honestly, like when they were given the penalty, I think I've seen at least three or four of them chuck it to each other. <laughs> as if they didn't want it. So for me, that indicated that whoever was going to take it probably wasn't either the main penalty taker or they weren't confident. Um, and then for me, her run up, um, I've done a lot of research in how people run up to the ball and she was very kind of close. So I really thought she was going to kind of whip it towards my right. And she's a tricky player as well. So she's good technically. So I always feel like good technical players will try and do something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, she, I just I just gambled and went with it and uh, yeah, managed to get a good save on it. So yeah, it was nice. We have Casey Stoney here. She's going to make a short statement about tonight's match and then we'll open it up for questions. Yeah, very end to end. Um, Carly Telford was outstanding, probably one of the biggest reasons we got a point. Um, yeah, they created a lot of chances. We got away with a few things, to be honest, over the 90 minutes. They got in in the first half. We were probably fortunate to go in at 0 0. Um, and the big penalty save. Um, making excuses, we didn't get an awful lot from the officials tonight, we didn't really get the rubber to green, but you have to make your own luck. Um, so we didn't, you know, I never ever fault my players' effort and fight, they fought really hard against the team that keeps putting the ball in your box, keeps putting you under pressure. For obviously, Kirsten Davis causes problems in the first half, and then we defended that, that threat better in the second half. Um, and don't get me wrong, we've had chances at the other end too, but yeah, it's going to be a big point come the end of, end of the season, so we know we can be better, we will be better, we'll continue to work to be better, but yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a point we'll take tonight. Questions, Jose? 
Um, coach, uh, a beautiful performance by Telford, especially after a couple of games where she might have had a couple of errors, but today, MVP of the, of the game. How, what can you talk about that preparation leading into a culmination of such a performance stop today? I think it's rhythm for a goalkeeper, isn't it? You know, you don't play for ages and then you get thrown in and it's difficult. So she's had back-to-back -back games and she's proved her worth tonight. And there were some massive saves and key moments and kept us in the game. Um, so, yeah, really proud of her and her performance and you know, hopefully something she can build on. Casey, you mentioned that this point could come a long way towards the end of the season. How important is it to you to finish top of the table? Is it more about performing well and good game by game and just seeing where it goes after playoff start. Yeah, I think we want to be in and amongst it in terms of the playoffs, so we've got to try and pick up as many points as we can, and this is a point that, you know, we will take tonight because we're under a lot of pressure, we can't make a lot of saves. Um, but yeah, it'll be a big point, so you know, I don't really look at the table and the performances and how we can continue to improve and grow. I get in here. Oh. All right, well, that's a wrap for this San Diego Wave game. The game ended 0-0 zero zero with this great stop from a penalty spot by Telford. Absolutely. So it was a point that Coach uh, said that they're going to take any day, obviously a tight game. Uh, in a league where it's 12 teams, the separation in talent really isn't that much, especially here with five uh, players missing. But, you know, Coach Casey Stoney still said that she's not happy with the, the defense that they could improve. And it's a lot very telling, you know, they always look forward to making a better decision, better games the next game. So uh, that's good to hear. But yeah, to, to end day, you're getting a point at least with a lot of your key players. So it's not a bad result in general. Like she said, she'll take the point. It's going to matter down the line. Uh, again, I want to make a correction. Uh, Taylor wasn't, Jody Taylor wasn't on the bench. Yes. It was a different Taylor. So yes. that's my bad. Uh, but yeah, other than that, 0 0 game. Uh, not the most entertaining to watch, but. A penalty was, stop saved it. Yeah. Literally saved oh, it. But that's football, right? Sometimes it's not pretty, sometimes it's amazing. It's part of the game. Exactly. Thank you guys for watching this. Appreciate every single one of you. Thank you.